Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to add a jar file to a Java project created with Visual Studio Code. So first, let's open the project. So it is on the desktop into a folder called Java Projects. So this is the project that I need to open. Let's select it and let's click on Select Folder. So as you can see here, this project contains this class app.java and here we have some errors because we need to add this jar file. So to add this jar file, we need this section, Java projects. So if this section is not visible, you can make it visible by making a right click on this section. So here you have just to click on Java projects. Now the section is not visible and to make it visible again we have to make a right click then Java projects. Now it is visible again so let's increase its size and to add the jar file to this project we have two methods either to add the jar file to this referenced libraries using this plus button or to add the jar file into this lib folder so I will show you the two methods. So let's start with the first method. So let's click on this plus button. Now let's select the jar file. It is on the desktop. So this is it. I have just to select it. Then let's click on select jar libraries. Now the jar file is added. We can expand this node to see it. And the errors disappeared. We can now make a right click. Then run Java. And here we have this message which means that we were able to execute this class correctly. Now I will show you the second method to add the jar file to this project. So let's remove it from this project using this minus button. Now the jar file is removed from this project and the errors appear again. So let's add it to this lib folder. So this is the jar file. I have just to move it. So let's click on cut. Now let's open Java projects folder, then let's open first Java project. Now let's open the lib folder and let's put the jar file here. Now we can go back to Visual Studio Code and here we can see that the errors disappeared. Also we can see that this jar file is now available under this project. Also if we expand the lib folder we can find this jar file just here. Now we can test this application again, so let's make a right click, then run Java. And we obtain the same output, which means that we were able to execute this class correctly. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.